As the fighting intensified this week in eastern Ukraine, questions are being raised whether Chechens have joined pro-Russian insurgents. But Chechnya's leader denies he has sent fighters in with their ruthless reputation to join rebels in Donetsk. Meantime, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov urged the Kiev government Wednesday to stop their military operations in the east, focusing on diplomatic solutions and working with Ukraine's newly elected president, Petro Poroshenko. It's necessary to use the situation after the election to immediately end using the military and launch a broad all-Ukrainian dialogue involving all regions and political forces in order to start a constitutional reform, to stabilize the situation and to create a framework for for all Ukrainians. But as pro-Russian militants continue to threaten border security, Ukrainian military leaders insist the fight isn't over. Our border, especially in the Donetsk and Luhansk region, has become a front line, which different terrorists are trying to break through. Ukraine and the West have accused Moscow of fomenting attacks in parts of eastern Ukraine that have closer ties with Russia. Russia's recent actions recall the days when Soviet tanks rolled into eastern Europe. But this isn't the Cold War. But Russian President Vladimir Putin has denied sending any troops. A group of Ukrainian miners marched through Donetsk earlier in the day waving Russian flags, asking for an end to the violence in their city, something Ukraine's new president has vowed to do peacefully. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.